ignored him completely. Okay, okay, Hi, okay. Mendix, Hi. Man. Come on. Hi. Hello, guys. Uh, hello, guys. How are you doing? I'm um, not fine, oh. as you have seen. <laughs> yeah, we saw that all right. I'm actually going to... Um, uh, there we go. See our faces there. Um, right. Uh, can you hear them, Highflyer? Mm, don't think so, no. Okay. Well, Highflyer can't hear you, but I can. Uh, we saw your performances, and there were some questions we wanted to ask. Um, basically... These seem to have a, a recurring theme, and we want to know, is it a strategy? What do you gain from it? And if it wasn't, what went wrong? Because we saw you doing a lot of rushes, where you'd move forward, take out maybe one tank, maybe the T1s, for example, on Lakeville, uh, and then you would halt, and you'd give the other team, Rock's Kiss, enough time to react to your tactics. Yeah, that was the problem also on Himmelsdorf, just what you said. Um, yeah. it's, it's that we respect them very much, they're very, very skilled players and we know that they always can react fast to our actions and, you know, we, we sometimes need to double think everything and yeah. <laughs> it, just, yeah. it, was, it took us too much, too much time. You know, it's just because of the, we are not just as much uh, focused and we just don't feel that good as on the before patch. So that's the why also we think twice when we want to play. We don't feel that safe on our tanks. We don't... Uh, we are not that good that on the rushes yeah. anymore like we were. That's the problem. I, I see. We are not so concerned. We see you doing so well in the engagements. Every engagement you won, I don't know if you noticed, but you often lost a tank early. Alien X, for example, you were often taken out very early. Um, in many battles. Now we blame that, or we attribute it to you commanding the fact that, you, as far as I'm aware, you call the shots in the battle. Is that true? Um, uh, for example, on steps, we just uh, lost the one very early. That it was to spot the tanks that killed me, and uh, just as you said before, it take, took us too much time to react, and actually we didn't react, and that's why we lost. Me. Well, we we saw that you won the engagements. That's my point. You yeah. died early. Um, and with you dead, you almost won still. And that's my point. It's, it seems to happen every map. It's a problem that we are losing tanks badly in some of the games. Like on the Lakeville, we lose Snip. He just ran. He thought he must take the, the shells, but yeah. he didn't shoot any. It was the misunderstanding for him from him. The only thing we can say that it, the Lakeville was played first time, but in the on the steps, he won, lost for uh, too fast. So, too slow reaction from players on the T69, especially me, that did not scream at the guys, so we just lost Ilian. When we lost Ilian, we just started to fight. No, the, the game was won by the Rockskis in the moment when we lost the T69, and they still have three tanks on almost full HP. Yeah. It was just the killing. But it, it's the thing is, you were fighting so well individually and in the skirmishes. You did so well, and we're all cheering for you. We thought that these guys could pull it back, but you were always so far behind when that first engagement occurred. It, it was like Ross just <coughs> won all the intelligent engagements at the start, where they're sniping one of your tanks off, and then when it came to the first engagement, they won every time. On Insk, for example, again, Ilium was taken out early where he was destroying terrain in a forward position and they got around him, FMB got around his side and then bang, 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 he was just ripped apart. To be, hon to be honest, I think this, the problem is that uh, we are still trying to fight as much offensive as we can and a lot of teams are not camping but they are reacting very good to that and they are just waiting yeah, you know you that said. we will go and sometimes it's we want to do something on the map and probably we should start playing more defensively not that aggressively well i don't think it's that as you said at the start of the interview you said that you guys are less confident in your rushes so you're hesitating and if you uh, rush problem, and you hesitate problem, that's death problem of confidence is also problem of with this lack of the skill on the some of the guys they are not feeling that well after the patch some of them are missing more shots than they did and also we are not training that much as we wanted because the, we, we have a lack of time and also a lack of uh, people because of the holiday time. That's the, one of the problems. I think Ilian will agree with me about that. Yeah, I just hope we could win uh, our match tomorrow so it would be two defeats and two wins in this continental. So I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. 
Well, we were very worried because we thought that today, looking at the lineups, that you were EU's hope today. Um, Dragon Ones, we've obviously not seen very good performance from, uh, from this tournament. We're hoping they've got to do well today. But um, we were really hoping that you guys would get the win. And therefore, Dignitas, assuming they statistically should get the win, we would have drawn again today. But uh, we're going to have to rely on Dragonborns now. Dragonborns yeah. have the same problem as us. They have the changes in the, the lineup, but also they have the problem with uh, getting to the new strategies. We are we were on the dream hack and we were preparing our strategic for the new for the last patch, not for the new one. It's also seen on the Wargaming Pro League at the EU that we have some problems. But we must focus and we must have time to react and it's just too just too much tournaments in the in time so yeah, it is very I think this is one dense, of the, uh, the amount of games you guys have got. But, uh, well, we wish you all the best. We, we really do hope that you get the time to train and get back to your former glory because you guys are the number one Polish team and the number one European living European team. And we had high hopes for you in this tournament, and we still do. I mean, you've got one more game left, and we hope you definitely take that away. We will do everything we can to perform as the best tomorrow, but... The, the worst thing for us was the matches with rushes that were so close on the on the steps and on the ends, and it was our mistakes that we lost that. Yeah. Our problem. Well, I really hope you guys get it sorted. Well, thank you very yeah, much for spending this time with us, thank and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Yeah, thanks for thanks for streaming, also, Dorian. Very good streaming. Thank you very much. Well, we'll see you again. See you. Yes, yeah. All right, guys, that was uh, Carmen and Elenex from uh, Mouse Sports. Uh, Carmen being the team captain, Elenex normally being the strategic manager, as you heard there. Uh, we're going to go for a quick music break before our next game, which will be Dragon Bonds versus A Gaming. And that is the last hope for EU. They have to win this next one. So let's hope that Dragon Bonds have got themselves sorted out over the last two days and they have no more connection issues. I'm Dojin and Highflyer's already gone for his break, so we will see you in about five minutes after a couple of songs for the very next battle. So, see you then. <laughs> 